All right, standing here with Simone Sanders from the Biden campaign, talking to Hill TV. Elizabeth Warren put out some new policy today around Social Security and increasing those benefits. What does Vice President Biden stand? Where does he stand on those questions? It's telling that a number of people on the stage have a plan, uh, but some people don't have a plan for health care. And what you can expect Vice President Biden to say is that plans are not enough. You have to be able to act. And he has a proven record of acting, whether it comes to guns, taking on the NRA twice and beating them. I'd like to remind folks tomorrow is the 25th anniversary of not only one, the Violence Against Women Act that Vice President Biden, then Senator Biden author, but also the last time we had an assault weapons ban in this country. And so those are two key things that are relevant to today where it was Vice President Biden that got it done. Essence Magazine did a big inside look at African-American women. I'm sure you saw it. Um, one of the things that jumped out was uh, these women seem to be particularly interested in issues around financial security for families and not always lining up with some of the more progressive ideas that are coming out of the Democratic field. How do you guys internalize and you see polls that say people are interested in tax cuts for working families maybe more than they are for in increases in the minimum wage? Well, I would say we're not surprised. Look, I think for, you know, black women are leading households. Black women are, women across the country, period, are, uh, and oftentimes leading their whole households. They are the breadwinners. So it's no surprise, actually, if the economy is front and center in their minds and how they're going to, you know, keep food on the table, if they're going to hold on to their next job, you know, if they can put four more tires, if they can afford four tires on the new car. So, you know, Vice President Biden, I know that folks like to call him middle class Joe. Uh, he's very familiar with this. And we, we just believe, Jamal, that the person that is going to be the Democratic nominee and the person that is able to beat Trump has to be able to put together a broad coalition that includes black women, that includes working folks, white working folks, black working folks, Latinx voters, Asian American Pacific Islander, on across the board. And so that means you got to be able to uh, have those policies to speak to folks. And right now, if you look at the latest Quinnipiac poll, out of the 21 demographics, Vice President Biden leads out of 19 of them. So we would say we are very well positioned for that broad coalition. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Good All to right. see you. See you soon.